Today, I'm going to share with you how to convert one load into over a million dollars plus in sales as a freight broker. So if you're interested in that, I want you to lean in, pay attention to what's going to happen here today because I'm going to share with you three strategies that I've used to convert the first load of a customer into over a million dollars in sales from that customer eventually, okay, over time. These are very fundamental strategies. These are things that every single person on this live or watching this video will be able to do, can do. You have the capability of doing all, all three of these things. The key is, will you do them and will you do them consistently, okay? So here, I'm going to take it from the top. Number one is customer retention. It means that you have to retain your clients beyond just the first load or the first month or the first year. You have to have long-term customer retention because that increases the lifetime value of a shipper. So if the lifetime value of a shipper is one load and they paid you $2,500, then the lifetime value of that client was only $2,500. But if the lifetime value of that client is five years and they're doing $200,000 a year in business with you, that converts that lifetime value from $2,500 into over a million dollars over the lifetime of that client. So customer retention is the key. So I'm going to share with you three simple customer retention strategies that any freight broker can implement into their business. Number one, as a part of customer retention, one of the things you have to understand is that you need to build multiple relationships with multiple layers within the organization of your customer. So for example, if you're working in, uh, with the shipping manager at your customer, you also should find a contact and develop a relationship with his boss and potentially with his boss. So you want to find two or three, at least two to three individuals within that organization that are stakeholders and or have a vested interest in the logistics and transportation department. And you want to start developing relationships with them. Now, your day-to-day -day is going to be handled mainly by the shipping manager or the load planner or the traffic manager, whatever that case may be. But what I'm trying to get through to you is you need to build multiple layers of relationships within that organization. And here's why. Because things change. You will find, and it has happened to me many times, the shipping manager that I've been working with for a long time got fired or retired or moved on to another company or another industry. And I did not have a relationship with multiple layers in that organization. And therefore it was very difficult for me to retain that client when that change was happened, when it happened. But if you have multiple layers of relationships in that organization, you've got the traffic manager or load planner, you've got the shipping manager, you got the director of operations, you got the VP of logistics and transportation, depending upon the size of the company, you know, if you have multiple layers of relationships within that organization, it is going to make you much more resilient to any sort of change, which will improve your customer retention and ultimately the lifetime value of that client. Number two, you have to implement what is called a customer feedback loop. Now, let me, it's not complicated. The challenge is most business owners, in my experience, rarely, if ever, include their customers in any sort of a customer feedback loop that is formal in any way, right? You have to formalize this in such a way that you can actually collect data, collect information from your customers with the goal of improving the relationship and the overall value that you can provide to them. Okay. So sometimes it's as simple as just asking your customers a simple question or two, like if there was one thing that I could do to improve or increase the value to your company on the services we're providing, what would it be? Something very simple. And then you listen. So that type of feedback that you get, and then you act on that feedback to actually improve the overall value and the overall relationship is, is how you can actually impact customer retention and increase 
you know, the length of time that you have a customer, the lifetime value of that customer, and ultimately the sales that you're able to generate from that customer. Okay. So that's number two. Number three, show appreciation regularly. Now, what I mean by appreciation, show customers appreciation regularly. Now, there are multiple ways to do this. One way to show customer appreciation is just to simply say thank you. It costs you absolutely nothing, but saying thank you, a sincere thank you to a customer for their business and letting them know how much they mean to you and how much you appreciate their business should not go without being said. You have to let them know you appreciate the business. By saying that, you will differentiate yourself from most freight brokers because most freight brokers are so transactionally focused they're not focused on that relationship. So that in itself can help differentiate you. So just saying thank you can be a way to show your appreciation, but there are lots of other ways to show the appreciation. You can buy the office lunch once a month, right? Send them a lunch, right? Send them pizza or subs or Chinese food or whatever. You know, there's two or three or four or five people working on the docks or working in that office. Buy them lunch once a month. It doesn't have to be elaborate. It doesn't have to cost a lot of money. You know, it might cost you 25 bucks for a pizza and some chicken wings or 40 bucks for some pizza and chicken wings. But ultimately you're showing your appreciation to them that, that number one, you're acknowledging that you truly appreciate them and you're giving them a small gesture, something, some small gesture of kindness to let them know that you truly appreciate them. Other things you can do is send them handwritten notes, personalized thank you notes. You could also send them periodic gifts uh, around the holidays. So that's an example of showing appreciation. That's an example of how to leverage a small gift to develop a relationship, okay? So those are the three things. Those are really simple. Number one, again, develop relationships with multiple layers of people within the organization that have a vested interest in transportation and logistics. Number two, implement a customer feedback loop. Ask your customers either through some sort of a, a formal survey online or by talking to them on the phone and get customer feedback and then implement that feedback to enhance the relationship and in, improve the value of the service. And then number three is show your appreciation regularly. You shouldn't just show appreciation once a year. You shouldn't just send them a gift, uh, some candy or cookies or a card around the holiday. You should show them appreciation regularly. If you're not, you know, if they were a local client, you'd probably take them to lunch once a month or once a quarter. Just because they're not local and they're across the country doesn't mean you can't buy them lunch. Doesn't mean you can't travel out there and go to an event or uh, go to sporting events or just break bread to have dinner with them and develop, enhance and develop that relationship. So number three was show your appreciation regularly. Okay. So those are the three things that you can do right now. Anybody on this live, anybody watching this video can do right now to convert one load into, into over a million dollars in sales as a freight broker. It doesn't require a lot of experience. It doesn't require a lot of money. It doesn't require a lot of talent. It just requires you to take the initiative to do it and to do it consistently. So I hope that helped you guys. I hope you to see you guys implement some of this. And I'd love to hear your feedback about it uh, in the comments. Ultimately, if you're curious about becoming a freight broker or a freight agent, and you're looking for some help, you're looking for some guidance, you're looking for a step-by-step -step process on how to get off the ground and start generating some cash flow, check out FreightBrokerBootCamp.com. We've trained over 10,000 students. We've been in business over a decade. We're well known to be the most cost-effective and comprehensive online freight broker training program available. And I offer a 60-day, 100% unconditional money-back guarantee. I can't make it any better than that. So check it out at FreightBrokerBootCamp.com.